the NHL 24 trailer, the official trailer, is a, is now out. And I know I'm a day late, and that's okay. Um, maybe a couple days. I don't know. We'll see. I've been busy with my job. My I've been busy with my job, and I haven't had time to sit down and actually record this video. But, the official trailer is out, there are some new things being added to the game, and I mean, well, it, it's gonna be interesting, let's see how it, let's see how it looks. This video is sponsored by Swift Grips. Baby, let's go, Swift Grips, we love Swift Grips. What they are is a grip company for your gaming controllers. You got PS4, PS5, Xbox, and Switch. They all fit on universally any controller. Guys, look, I get it. Sometimes your aim's not good enough, and you just gotta come to the fact. But with Swift Grips, you have a guaranteed 30% increase in your accuracy. Now, I don't know if any of you know math. Certainly, I know I don't, but I think that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I almost failed grade 12 math. Swift Grips out here, they're selling their pro their product for really a really, really, really good price, better than any Amazon competitor. And hey, they come in some cool colors. They also are very, very universal. You can put the same grips you have on your PS4 controller, onto your Switch controller, and then onto your Xbox controller. It is always universal. Now, guys, I have a coupon code for you, and you're not going to believe it. Yes, I do. If you go to swiftgrips.net and you use the coupon code 10D10, all capitals, T-E-N-D-I-E 10, at checkout, you will save yourself 10% on your purchase. Or, better yet, go to the link in my description. Again, use the promo code 10D10, T-E-N-D-I-E, all capitals, 10 at checkout to save yourself 10% on your order. Thank you, Swift Grips, for sponsoring this video, and I will see you back in the video. Bye! From non All right, I mean... Physicality to dynamic new ways to ooh, attack. Ooh. First off, it looks beautiful. I'm going to say that now. It looks gorgeous. Ooh, you're not going to do that. And so much more. We couldn't be more excited to show you what's new this year. Including a suite Ooh. of new gameplay features, Ooh. intensity, authenticity. I'm hype. I'm hype for that. I want to. I want to send somebody like into the fifteenth row when I hit them. Like that is my job when I play NHL, and it is. I'm excited to send them over the boards. The and connectivity of the game. Crossplay is here now. You can finally compete with or against your friends on the same generation. Console. Finally, I mean, this it's vastly improves matchmaking. It's been way too long since we've had a crossplay, considering COD, uh, NBA, M MLB all have crossplay. Game changer. The exhaust engine lets Ooh. you feel the intensity of hemming an opponent in the zone, forcing you to make strategic decisions. Like oh, so we're actually gonna get like we're gonna be able to see fatigue. Rush. Exhaust engine is made up of the sustained pressure system and the goalie fatigue system. The sustained pressure system rewards oh. extended offensive events such as shooting, passing, and checking in the attacking zone. As you okay, can see okay. the pressure gauge, the offensive team will gain a boost in stats due to the adrenaline effect, while the defensive team gets a decrease in stats due to the pinned effect. Ooh. This change makes real hockey plays effective. The that's can be that's going to be interesting. That's going to be that's going to I I think that alone definitely will change the dynamic of how playing NHL 24 will be and I mean it it will make some more dramatic moments I think in online games and it'll make you work a lot harder but this it's gonna it, it might be good used to wear down the opponent and retrieve the puck full pressure strategies like peppering the goalie from all angles to tire them out are now effective and cause authentic goal scrambles Oh. And cycling the puck to build sustained pressure opens up new opportunities to attack the net. On the defensive side, you now have to choose between making the safe boards and outplay or risking oh. the puck over in the slot. So you're going to have to like you're actually going to have to like dump the puck to gain any momentum back. That's going to be cool. That's going to be that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard against Fatigue people. Feature. Adding over 50 new goalie animations, bro. A brand new desperation save package. Oh, goalies will now tire as you increase attack zone time, move the puck around, and most importantly, get shots on net. 
As a goalie tires, they'll make more errors, causing rebounds. They definitely don't. I, I I don't think they need to have that. But I think as I think it's interesting. I mean, it, it, then it takes away from the simulation, which I don't mind. I think sports video games, as good as a simulation as they are, I don't think they need them. Like, taking a rebound off the boards or off the pads, the goalie should be on the ground, able to stop it. Like, I like that idea of it being on the floor. Like, them being able to, you know, maybe not make those saves or make that, like, amazing just grab it out of the air save i think that's gonna be interesting i i don't know yet we'll see take the body take the game the physics-based contact feature revolutionizes Ooh. checking in nhl 20 so finally when i hit somebody they're gonna be able to actually go over like hip check somebody they're gonna go over me and not just like bounce off my ass that i'm hyped for the that i'm hyped for authenticity of for Tuesday. If you land a big check, your opponent will re-enter the play slower, creating That was like last year. That was like last year except they would just stay on the ground. You'll be left out of position. This really That was also like last year. Reward factor and makes gameplay Oh. Exciting. Oh, so you actually have to Like before last year, you if you went for a hit, you were like Okay, you can still get back in the play, but now if you go for a big hit and they get out of the way, you're done. Like, there's no nowhere to be. Solid check on the opponent will result in new oh. animation based reactions. Okay. Creating tons of new wow moments. I don't know every why game. that. Okay. A quick push on the right stick will allow you to shove the opponent. Oh, so you can actually do a little bump and run. Okay. Lower penalty risk. Plus, what if you you could truck somebody? A new gameplay meta that adds a dedicated reverse body check control. Dubs. Dubs. Never seen John Tavares do that. Yes! Bro, I swear, glass breaking needs to be, like, happening more. Like, through shots, too. I get it. It's, again, the little things that bring back the arcade. Like, it makes it a video game. It's not real. It's a video game. It's awesome. Showing off your skill has never been this fun. Total control skill moves introduces a whole new control setup. I'm intrigued. Highlight real moves more intuitive and accessible. Button back moves give you more options, but timing to play right and reading the ice will be the difference between oh. success and failure. However, if you prefer legacy controls, you'll still have that option. Plus, a new ability to fake, pass, or deek out of every move also adds a dynamic new offensive layer to the game. Oh. So what, it, what I think it is, it's going to be an easier way to pull off those deeks you can't pull off. And I think they said for accessibility too, which is a really good thing. I'm not going to lie. Never pulled off in Michigan. I My go-to is a Datsuk shot or between the legs. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm intrigued to find out. I'm excited. I want to... And again, if, if you don't like it, I think there's new control and like new control inputs, but if you don't like it, you can just go back to the old way. Like it's not stuck there. I'm excited for that. Tack, toe. Ooh. Vision passing puts tape to tape play with your teammates at your fingertips, offering quicker. Oh. To keep puck possession. This is like in um. All important pressure. Like in Madden or 2K, face to where you can pass to a specific person. Just allow more efficient passing. But opens up Ooh. opportunities like disguising a pass on a PP to set up the perfect play. Nasty. This also unlocks stretch and breakaway passes, giving you new ways to attack the net. But that I'm excited for because I can actually. 50 50 on. Well, I'm definitely giving the fuck away a bunch, but I'm excited for that. One touch passing, which one lets you passing. move the puck around the ice by tapping the pass button as the puck is in transit. Oh Together, my! This creates so many more exciting passing opportunities and ways for players to get creative on the ice. That's dirty. Out there, That's the dirty. Goalie controls makes playing goal more accessible and intuitive. Historically, the game's controls made it easy to lose Ooh. the net, creating frustrating empty That's net tough. goals and a steep learning curve. That's so actually tough. It's been there. We have added a new tethered control system. Tethered. As you slide back and forth to make saves, 
You simply release the left analog stick, and your goalie will I like this. return back to a centered position. I like this. We have also added a new instinct system. This allows you to guess the location of the shot for a bonus on your save attempt. Guessing wrong oh. increases the chance of a goal. It's a nice addition for our veteran goalies and really brings oh. life into the position. I like that. From high pressure plays that'll leave you sweating to sending your friends into the bench, NHL 24 steps the game up to give you those authentic hockey feelings. Thank you for watching and catch you on the ice. Okay, a little bit to unpack there. Oh, wrong one. A little bit to unpack there. You're adding a new passing system, new hitting engine, which was actually brought in on NHL 14, was the new engine. You have um, new controls. You got new goalie system, which might be a little hype. Um, you got, what else was there? Passing, um, you got a bunch of different things. You got probably some more, uh, display and more uh, elemental uh, visual options probably being added in there, but that's going to be interesting. I think that adding something like this will be, adding these options into the game will make it a little more fun. For especially the, the people who don't, who kind of pick up and play casually and don't grind out the game, play it 24 7, like how I've seen some people play, or they just kind of pick it up for fun, or for like kids who want to be a goalie, except they just get lit up every, they get let in 10 goals, something like the goalie thing, or the passing will be very helpful for them. Even the new controls, they see all these big YouTubers want to pull off big, big moves guess what they can't do that physically they're unable to do that i'm excited for it thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't i know it's been a little bit since i've been you know videoing but if you liked it consider subscribing tell your friends and i will see you guys in the next video and remember when in doubt tandy out